Hello my friends, I want you to take two seconds just to imagine that you worked for two hours today and that that gave you enough money to support yourself for the rest of the week. How does that make you feel? Are you excited and ready to go and try it? Or are you disgusted and like, no, you're wasting my time, I need to get back to work. If you were disgusted, then you might be experiencing work, some workaholism. My name is JD, and I'm a statistician and music therapist here to offer statistically significant support, and today we're going to talk about overworking and workaholism and how to stop them. So are you working long hours? Are you sleep deprived? Are you poorly functioning both mentally and physically? Are you getting sick and injured, and are you not seeing your family as much? When you do get sick, does it take you longer to recover? If all of this is true, you could be overworking. And overworking is underperforming. You're, you're simply leading yourself to work-family conflict, but you're not performing well at work. You're not working as at the level that you potentially could be working at. All of this is true even if you're not working compulsively. So if you're working compulsively, on top of overworking, then that's the definition of workaholism. So you have this need and desire and this compulsion to work on top of working long hours. And workaholics will spend their free time working. They will always think about work. They do more than what is required. They are perfectionists, even often irrationally. And they have a lot of negative emotions. So on top of overworking, they might be bitter and angry or sad and depressed. And they'll often experience burnout, job stress, work-life conflict, and negative impacts on their health and well-being and mental health. And these negative impacts can last up to two years. They'll also see a drop in their life satisfaction that can last up to two years as well. So they might have personal relationships, but they're going to be weak and they're going to be dis dissatisfied with those work relationships or personal relationships. And for the companies, they're not even being beneficial for the companies. Their co-workers tend to hate them and they produce poor quality of work and they're often unproductive because they're creating busy work for themselves just to keep themselves working. And they can even cost the company more because of their poor health and high stress. So they're costing the company with health issues as well. But there's an entire process of how workaholism comes about. So we can learn what that is and address it. And it starts with perfectionism. Is simply being a perfectionist can lead to being a workaholic and being a workaholic can lead to being bored during free time which leads to lower life satisfaction so on top of overworking and being dissatisfied they're experiencing lower life satisfaction these negative emotions that they're feeling will also enhance that process and make the process faster. But you can break the cycle and it starts with addressing the structure of the work environment but also engaging in individualized approaches so that you're bringing up your life satisfaction. So you want to tackle the work environment and you want your work environment to nurture engagement rather than workaholism. So simply you want to work with other people instead of being the only person who can get things done. You also want to address the life satisfaction through doing work-life balancing programs, but you can do this through active leisure activities. And that could be singing, playing an instrument, engaging in a sport, running, as long as it's active and gets you moving. <clears throat> but you want it to be something that you enjoy so that you bring up your life satisfaction. 
You also want to bring down your dissatisfaction with life outside of work and address the core issue of why you feel compelled to work. You can do this through therapy or Workaholics Anonymous. As long as you're bringing down the life satisfaction and understanding why you're working and doing the leisure act, active leisure activities to bring up the life satisfaction so that you enjoy life more. So I've actually been through this and I worked in an environment where it was expected that we worked longer hours. I think my boss even slept at the office. She, she never stopped working. And I was working 10 to 12 hours a day and often seven days a week. And I ended up with four job titles while I was working there. Because of that, I saw my mental health decline. And I, you know, I hated being there. I hated working so much, but I felt like I couldn't leave the office. I didn't have any friends and I pretty much just slept and worked. But at that time I was also in therapy and the therapist helped me address the, the core issues of why I felt like I needed to work so much, but also what that work environment was and what it was doing to me. And once I understood and addressed that compulsion to work, I ended up finding a better job with a better work environment that was healthier with hours that I could set. And I was able to wean myself off of those longer work hours. So I ended up with more free time and I needed to fill that time with things that I enjoyed. For me, that was playing video games or playing board games with friends or playing my musical instruments or simply learning something I didn't learn before. And eventually I broke myself of that, that compulsion, that need to work, and I started enjoying myself. I enjoyed my time off. And I, you know, I saw my work improve because I was in a better state of mind and it was improving even though I was working less. And I was doing work that I liked, that I enjoyed so that I was even happier at work, even though I wasn't there as often. So it's important to be aware of your work environment and your own need to work so that you can address both. You can do that by setting boundaries and simply just telling people, no, I've got enough to do right now. Let's meet together so we can get this done together. You can do things outside of work that you enjoy active leisure activities so that you can bring up your life satisfaction but address the core issue of why you feel like you need to work so much so that you're bringing down that dissatisfaction so if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you want more content like this hit the subscribe button so that I can continuously bring you more statistically significant support thank you